Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at what to do when the auto retargeting system in Unreal Engine 5.4 doesn't quite do the auto thing the way we'd like. Uh, I have some mocap here from our Vicon system and I'd like to apply it to this Eve character from Mixamo. So let's take a look at trying out the auto retargeter with this. So I'll stop my animation, I'll right click on it in the sequencer, go to properties and use the browse to button here to find that animation in the content browser. So there's our getting hit take two. I'm gonna right click and choose retarget animations. So this sets up an initial retargeting system and we'll wanna make sure that Eve is our target, but already we know we're gonna be in for some kind of trouble because the Vicon character, the, rather than the feet being on the ground, uh, it looks like you know the hips are in the ground plane and also the Vicon character is facing away from us instead of towards us. So if I go ahead and set up the target to be Eve, so I'll click on this none and type in Eve. And here is our Eve character. Uh, wow, uh, she is really messed up. Uh, her hands are backwards, her arms are short, uh, it looks like her back is bent. Uh, all kinds of not right things are happening. And if we were to go ahead and try this getting hit animation, double click on it, uh, she disappears entirely and if i'm looking around there she is way off in the distance so obviously the auto retargeting isn't doing quite what we'd hope so let's uh, see what we can do to correct that so we have two options down here when we're doing auto retargeting we can export animations but obviously not the thing we want right now. Instead, I'm going to export the retargeting assets. See, behind the scenes, this retargeter is creating a rig for each one of the characters, the source and the target, and is also then creating a retarget rig that is a map between those two uh, individual character rigs. So we're going to get those assets out and see if they need to be edited and what we can do to get them working. So edit I'm sorry, export retarget assets. I'm just gonna put them in my content folder for this demo and hit export. And so there we go, there's our three assets. I'll close the retargeter. And usually the IK rig for each one of the characters, the source and the target, they're usually okay. And the issue is usually in the IK retargeter, but just as a double check, we can double click here on the source and we've got our Vicon character. Uh, retarget root is indeed on the hips. We've got an IK set up for the various uh, joint chains and you know, the joint chains appear to be mapped correctly. So that takes care of the Vicon rig. I could double click on the Eve rig and likewise she is correct for who she is. So we've got all of the, uh, the retarget root is on the hips and all the various joint chains are where we want them. So that is good as well. So we're really just gonna be focusing on this auto-generated IK retargeter. So I'll double click that asset and the first thing we're greeted with is this little message. The source skeleton is a retarget root, um, the bone that's on the ground. So this is, again, the Vicon character's hips are on the ground plane, on the origin, zero, zero, zero. So, uh, Unreal here is now suggesting that we apply a vertical offset. Say yes to this. Uh, this is actually why we were getting such an odd behavior with our character getting sent so far away is that with the retarget root on the origin, the multiplication mathematics ends up throwing the target character way far away. So yes, do apply that offset. And so uh, we still have this issue with the character, the Vicon character facing the wrong way. And we've got our uh, arms and, and such all messed up with our target character. So if I go into this asset settings, one of the things I can do is go to target mesh offset, that's Eve, and just push her off to the side a little bit. So we have these characters side by side. And then I'm gonna start by correcting the source retargeting pose. So there's a, a source and a target retargeting pose. And we wanna correct both of those. So this button here that says running retarget, I'm gonna click the ellipsis and choose edit retarget pose. And now both characters have moved a bit. And I wanna start by spinning our Vicon character to face the camera. So I'll click on source to edit the source retargeting pose. I'll click on the retarget root and E for rotation, W would be moving, but E is rotation. And I'm just gonna rotate this around 180 degrees. And now it looks like my snapping is turned off, so I'm gonna control Z, undo that, and activate snapping for rotation, and do that retarget route one more time. There we go, nice solid 180 degrees. Now, 
Eve is still kind of messy, so I'm going to go over to the target and see if an auto alignment with her and uh, Vicon facing the correct way will take care of most of the things that we want to uh, figure out here. So I'm going to use the auto align button. I'm in target mode, so I'm working with Eve. And with auto align, I'm going to align all bones and see what kind of result we get. Okay, great. This is a much better result, but there is a little bit of cleanup to be done. So her arms have been fixed. Her thumbs are facing in the right direction. Her left arm and right arm are on the right side. They're the full extension. But just note that she's wearing heels, and if she has the same foot bone pose as the Vicon character, uh, her feet look awkward because they're tilted back due to the heels. So let's just correct that. I'm just going to scroll down in her joint chain here and find her right foot. And I'm going to deactivate snapping and just move this so that it looks like we're flat with the ground. And let's repeat that with the left foot. And there we go. So it looks like about seven and a half degrees takes care of those. And now we have uh, what looks to be a much more plausible uh, source and target pose. So let's switch back to retargeting mode. And now both characters turn around. And uh, moment of truth is to try the retargeting of the animation itself. So I'll double click on getting hit. And look at this, the feet are where they belong. Character is doing what we would expect. And this is a much better result than we would have gotten from the auto retargeter alone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this playback here. Control Shift S to save all of our changes. And now we could export these animations as much as we like. We should have a pretty decent retargeting setup now for our animations. I hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.